now uh, we have our second act. Please put your hands together for Paul and Stone. Selling fantasy author? Yes. Do you have a magnificent beard? Yes. Are you George R. R. Martin? No. You are Pat Rothfuss. It's <laughs> not a very difficult tree. Anyway, this goes out from the heart, from us nerds to you nerds. You're not going to get any younger, you know Winter is coming, I'm growing impatient And you've still got two old damn books left to go So write, George, write like the wind I curse the day that my friend ever loaned me An old dog-eared paperback called Game of Thrones How could I know that this sea would grow into an addiction that held me right down to my bones. Now five books later I work with the masses, indignant, entitled, and waiting for a word that a great bearded glacier has finally published 900 more pages of crack for the nerds. Why does every new verse of your song keep taking you so goddamn long? George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster. Please give us spoiled leather and sigils and seal. We need our allotment of incest and intrigue and six-page descriptions of every last meal. So write, George, write like the wind. Lewis took five years to chronicle Narnia. Tolkien had twelve years and Roland took ten. Lucas spent nearly three decades on Star Wars and we all know how that one turned out in the end. You're not our bitch and you're not and we don't need to dictate how you spend your days But please bear in mind, in the time that you had When Shakespeare churned out 35 friggin' plays 
And if you keep writing so slow, you'll hold up the HBO show. George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster. Right before you are dead, George, please write like the wind. Thank you. We, uh, we, for those of you uh, who are not familiar with with us, and even if you are, we had a relatively successful Kickstarter at the end of last year. Uh, which funded, among many other things, uh, the upcoming completion of our next album, which will be called Ball Pit, and it'll be coming out uh, at the end of this month, actually. Uh, we are going to do a couple songs from that new album. Uh, this song is autobi- well, all our songs are autobiographical and all our songs are love songs, as that first song eminently proved. <laughs> this song is particularly uh, about a, a particular unique sort of love, I would say. Yeah, I might put it in that, that realm. And, and we're, we're less eager to say that it is autobiographical, but it kind of unfortunately is. This is called My Favorite Band. songs anymore. My favorite band hasn't played a show in more than 14 years. I know that I should let it go. Believe me, I have tried. But no other man can make me feel the way I feel inside when they sing. Sha -na 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 -na. I will never be untrue to my favorite band. Sha -na 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 -na. And I don't Everything was ain't okay when they all played together my favorite band. I needed a plan, how to make things better again. I rented a van and I drove around to where each one of them lived. It took a lot of time and all my powers of persuasion and just a touch of chloroform. Now they're all in my basement singing. Over and over and over And in return they know I'll worship them forever And make their favorite meals And keep their cages clean It's a great deal Sha na 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 Yeah, let's party with my favorite band Sha na 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 I play love with my favorite band Sha na 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 Robert C. Baker. 
Wow, <laughs> you're the bigger faithful in the house today. Uh, whether or not you have heard of this man, we had never heard of him until we read his obituary. Because uh, he passed away a number of years ago. And we realized after reading his obituary, this man genuinely deserved a song to be written about him and his accomplishments. Um, he was so deserving that it should have been written by somebody else. <laughs> True. Uh, but whether or not you know it, he has touched the lives of every single person in this room. And uh, so we'd like to honor him. This being that type of song, uh, we would like you to feel free to, uh, during the choruses, wave your lighters in the air, or, well, look at you, wave your lighter apps. <laughs> or let's be honest, really looking at you, go ahead and write your own lighter apps. Uh, and to help us out with this, and to help you out to know when to do it, we'd love to bring up to the stage our very good friend, uh, Phil Plate. Yeah, come on, Phil. Hello, bad astronomer Phil Plate. Hello, good singers, Paul and Storm. Uh, so Phil, uh, Phil will lead you in the waving of lighters. And he was saying backstage that it's been a long time since he heard this song, so we will be leading Phil in knowing when to wave the lighter, so that you know when to wave the lighters. This seems a little more complicated than it needs to be. This has suddenly become lighterception. This is, this is in the NASA tradition of building in lots of redundancy. So here is a song about a dead guy. <laughs> Robert C. Baker died on a Monday. We all know his work, although few knew his name. A Cornell professor who taught poultry science, forever enshrined in the Poultry Hall of Fame. Eighty-four years worth of food Chicken dogs, turkey dogs, and turkey ham. But beyond them all stands Baker's greatest creation. For Baker begat chicken nuggets for man. Oh, nugget man, oh, nugget man. Oh, heading on down to that old promised land. C. Baker, way back in the 50s, changed the way children and college kids eat. When he invented a way to get ready, to add here much better to raw chicken meats. His new method led fast food chains in the 80s to develop and market a new bite-sized snack food. Made from mechanically recovered meat and anti-foaming products, reconstituted meat slurry and extra chicken skin for its binding properties. Oh, nugget man, oh, nugget man, heading on down to that old promised land. Guts, feet, and beaks now don't get thrown away since the nugget Morning with Papa. The Colonel has arranged a 21 gun salute. The churches are silent, but for Wendy's weeping. And Ronald has hung up his big yellow clown suit. Robert C. Baker's last will was specific that his bones be removed and he be ground up real fine to place his remains into small cardboard coffins and bury the pieces six at a time. Everyone, oh nugget man, oh nugget man, heading on down to that old promised land, dipped into his honey mustard filled grave. We're glad the nugget man came our way. We're glad the nugget man came our way. Nugget man.
my favorite part, uh, there was plenty of, of lovely apps. There was some lightsabers and just some blank screens. And way in the back was an actual analog flame. <laughs> Either that or it was the most amazing programming job ever. <laughs> most amazing programming job ever is my Daft Punk cover band. <laughs> uh, speaking of programming jobs, he said, uh, there being oh, a, yeah, a nice segue. Inadvertent segue man over here. <laughs> uh, a low price superhero. Um, uh, I'm, no, no, no. The, the moment's passed. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, spe the, we spoke earlier of the Kickstarter. One of the other things that, that Kickstarter has funded is a thing we've been wanting to do for a very long time, which is a soundboard app for role-playing games. So as such, we have been busily working on roughly 120 to 150 different very short songs and sound effects. And it's basically going to be the Who's Tommy of apps. That's what we're, we're going for. And it'll be a soundboard that you can deploy during your own home games. Uh, here is one such example. couple of months, it's called Sound Bard, by the way. Like that? Yeah. That's the reaction we're looking for. Because nerds like bards and nerds like shitty puns. <laughs> and nerds, nerds like shitty puns is my weird Al cover. I'll do that. <laughs> but, uh, so that will be out uh, on most major platforms uh, in a couple of months. Keep an eye out for that because you can always watch our Twitter again. We will not shut up about it once it's out. Trust us. Um, it is now time for a song about boxing nuns. Because that's the rule in Phoenix, it's 9.27 p.m. and that's boxing nun time. Which is my Shinny O'Connor <laughs> So imagine, so imagine just for the next four minutes or so, that we are no longer at Phoenix Comic Con. Instead, we are in a vast boxing cathedral. Yes. Kind of are. Kind of are. <laughs> okay, so somewhere up in the darkness above the boxing ring, a single microphone descends. Which is our Lady Smith Black Mombasa <laughs> Still at it. Still, still that note? Yeah. yeah. This is the last time you're going to hear either of these notes during this song, so <laughs> enjoy it while you can. Ladies and gentlemen, we present our title bout for the This corner, weighing in at 114 pounds. By way of the Sisters of Our Lady of the Immaculate Right Cross. With a record of 23 and 1, with 15 knockouts, 3 TKOs, 2 decisions, 3 conversions. And one exorcism. <laughs> the High Priestess of Penance, the Pounding Penguin, the Assassin of the Passion, the Stinging Nun, and the Roman Catholic Wrecking Ball. <laughs> From let me hang in there. You're still putting your holster. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. I don't want to shoot your foot. By the way, it's, uh, this is the point where we have 
gone into the director's commentary version of this. Uh, <laughs> some bonus material for you. From Dublin, Ireland, Sister Mary Catherine, the habit breaker in the Ola. Corner, weighing in at an even 82 pounds, <laughs> by way of the order of St. Adelaide of Perpetual Confrontation, <laughs> with a record of 66 and 6, with one disqualification for using a room. The Vatican Vixen, the Pontus Pitbull, the original sinner, the homicidal bride of Christ, <laughs> the assaulter from the altar, the Undertaker, <laughs> and the Mother Superior of Kicking Posture. Mexico City, Sister Maria Teresa Garcia Gracia Aguilera Delgado Francisco Diego Roy Inigo Montoya Zapata Tua Guapa Wapalita De La Boom Boom Mendoza. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Now let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> We'd like to bring a special guest up to the stage, and this couldn't have been timed better. Because I'm going to go run and pee while she's up here. <laughs> so I really, really can't wait any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sean McGuire! Run away! He just does that sometimes. It's cool, it's cool. I knew I was here to take a pee break. <laughs> Which is the name of my R. Kelly cover band. <laughs> Yes, it is. Just checking. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I made it up on the stage. I am stoned. There are too many bands. I know, right? I know. It's all legal. Painkillers. I had to kick some people. Well, I'm excited uh, to be playing this. And it's not for fun. Yeah, I'm excited to, to be here with you. So thank you very much for having me. Yeah, and we are we are playing and singing this evening. Uh, we are playing and, and singing a song called Vampire Slayer Blues because it only required him to learn three chords. <laughs> well, I look around and I can barely recall that I had a life before the day I heard the call. Now I've been chosen. Didn't get no chance to choose. You call me honey, vampire slayer blues. You say that I'm morbid, that I'm becoming obsessed. Well, if you had my life, then you can bet you'd be depressed, cause it's no picnic. Even if Sir, will I make it? He's 
said, no, you're gonna die. I said, that's not inspiring. He said, true, but you see, I know it seems tiring, but fighting and dying is your destiny. Jerk. I can't find a boyfriend, I keep, keep breaking my dates so I let my last career day, my results came back million of fame, there's no retirement, and you've never paid your dues. I've got those vampires and zombies and werewolves on my, why shouldn't I live before I have to die, so pass me a stick and kiss evil goodbye. Mary Christian Slater and die. Skepticism. Some are questioning our, our credentials on that first count. <laughs> Nonetheless, we are also educators. Edutainers. So, <laughs> really? Yeah. Edutainers is my schoolhouse rock cover band. How's that? So, in the interest of edutainment, we would now like to bring to you the best 36 seconds on the internet. Now, of course, that's very powerful stuff. So we have to ease you into it. So first, we are going to show you the second best six seconds on the internet. Make sure the volume is turned up. Yeah. It's like Pac-Man. Okay. <laughs> Pretty great, right? Let's run that again. Here's the thing, at half speed, twice as funny. <laughs> and a little unsettling. The elements of this video are extremely simple. Uh, internet singer songwriter Jonathan Colton. That always happens. He walks through a door. I hucked a stuffed monkey at him and I shout, Monkey. <laughs> Jonathan immediately falls to the floor, and I laugh like an idiot just off camera. In and of itself, it is terrific, and stands up to repeat viewing. <laughs> so then the question is, why is this only the second best six seconds on the internet? What is keeping it from being the best 36 seconds, besides the obvious point that it's only six seconds long? But even if we were to loop this six times over, it would still fall short. So the question we must answer is why? To answer that question, we have applied science. <laughs> or at least some graphs that look like science. <laughs> that video had two of the critical elements for successful internet videos. Those being cute animals and falling down. <laughs> However, there is a third element that is missing. Music. Music. In all of the best viral internet videos, music is what ties all of the disparate elements together and provides forward momentum. Here are just a couple examples.
wrong, there are still plenty of really awesome videos that you'll find where any two of these categories meet. For example, uh, cute animals, falling down, animals down, down images. <laughs> And also, uh, cute animals and music. <laughs> and lastly, cute animals falling down. <laughs> They do not have all of the elements required to, to put in that rarefied territory. Exactly. And of the videos that do combine all of these three elements, only one video lives in the very epicenter of the three, thereby distilling all of it into an elixir of everything that is good and great about the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is that video. We'd like to briefly mention that immediately following the concert this evening, at a table right over here, we have uh, some of our mercantile wares for sale. Imagine that! Somebody's selling something at a Comic-Con! Who knew? Uh, we have all of our CDs, and also we have our uh, music collected on USB drives, which are super cool, because they're like from the future and stuff, and they look, yeah. like, they look just like us. Look at that, that's, that's crazy. Wow, that's startling. We also, for the young kids who don't like physical media anymore, have download cards. We're not sure how they work, but my daughter says they're cool, so we made those. We also have download cards uh, if you would like to download the soundtrack to uh, the first and only season so far of our web series, Learning Town. Like, three of you watched it in this room. But thank you for the sympathy woo. <laughs> thank you, thank you, single person. Uh, and also, a very popular item, uh, the official Paul and Storm Blank is the Name of My Blank cover band t-shirts, <laughs> which comes with a washable and erasable marker so you can make that joke far too many times, just like we do. So, uh, thank you for that. With that being said, Storm now has a couple of questions for you. Exactly two questions. Question the first, do you like musicals? This is gonna work out just fine. Second question, do you like video games? <laughs> Even finer. Well, that's great. Right now, we are presenting for you, Frogger, the Frogger musical. <laughs> Up left, a break, break, break down the top. Up left, a break, break, break down the top. Up left, a break, break, break down the top. Up left, a break, break, break down the top. Up left, a break, break, break down the top. Up left, a break, break, break down the top. Up left, a break, break, break down the top. Up
autobiographical of any song that we have done, and it is also the least loved song. And tonight we dedicate it to John Scalzi. Behind the building, rolling up a fatty and he'll be gone. A 
until our last song. We got a VW van. I had to sell every Star Wars figure that I had and ask my dad to go sign for the loan. We don't got a whole lot of fans. Nobody asked for our autograph and sad to say, as of today, no panties have been thrown. Whoa. my favorite color, and it's in a knot. <laughs> Is it in a Gordian knot? <laughs> Mine has no red. There's, There's more. more. Oh. Wow. This is like a, a Rothfuss-style epic panty flame. <laughs> Which is my Madonna cover band. <laughs> it's like an Easter egg hunt. Oh, I hope this one has chocolate. <laughs> Never mind, I didn't think about that before. You sure did not! That's the worst Kinder Egg surprise ever. No one had ever been from this country. Wow, this song took a turn. Okay. So, uh, we learned everything. We don't got a whole lot of fans. Nobody has for our autograph. And sad to say, as of today, three panties have been thrown. Wanna make sure you may not have chocolate? I hope not. And if you're wondering if this was worth the drive here, we spent six hours in traffic on the highway. For 50 bucks and half price on the cheese fries and free Miller Lite on tap. Who can drink that crap? in town and we'll be crashing at his place unless his girlfriend's home from college and she's staying for the weekend and if she is then we will have to go and park the van behind the IHOP by the turnpike and we'll sleep in the back seat and we're wondering just where the headline act is they're probably getting wasted in the green room a rat's ass who we are, so when they start to play up here, we're gonna drink all their beer. <laughs> we hope that all of you sign up on our mailing list and buy our disc and t shirts in black and gray. We are the opening band, and we only got about 25 more minutes left. That's all we get to blow your ass away. 